authorities say it could take some time to repair the power transmission line damage left in the aftermath of the crash of a crop dusting plane north of Scotch Bluff Tuesday morning. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, Nebraska Public Power District officials say repair crews from York, North Platte, and Ogallala are in the area for reconstruction work on the 230 kilovolt transmission line damaged as a result of the crash, and the public is asked to stay clear of these work areas. Scottsdale County Sheriff Mark Overman tells KNB News that County Roads 19 and 20 from County Roads F to G are closed to local traffic only, as well as County Road 22 from Lake Minotaur Road to County Road G, and he understands repairs upwards of a month to complete. These are, these are great big power structures. I mean, it's not a power pole. It's like these double power poles, and a bunch of them got snapped off and damaged in the uh, MPPD told me this morning they've got 20 of those that are going to have to be replaced. Overman also said the National Transportation Safety Board will not be sending investigators to the scene because NTSB of officials were satisfied with the details provided by local investigation, including extensive interviews with the pilot and witnesses, as well as drone footage of the crash scene. Well, a 24-year-old Scottsdale man has been arrested following a police investigation of a forcible sexual assault reported this week. Court records say Jacob Godina was taken into custody on Monday on a charge of felony first-degree forcible sexual assault after Scottsdale police were called to the victim's apartment. Godina claimed the encounter was consensual, while the woman says she told him to stop multiple times, and the woman told them that Godina had stopped by the residence earlier and told her that he was going to have sex with her. Bond has been set at $100,000 at 10%, and he'll be back in court on Monday for his preliminary hearing. Well, coming up after the break, Bill Foyer says the dog days of summer continue. He's got your Thursday evening forecast right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we believe it shouldn't cost you money to access your money. That's why we offer free ATMs anytime, anywhere. Whether you are across town or traveling abroad, there won't be an added expense to access the funds in your Platte Valley Bank account. Free ATMs are just one of the great benefits of banking with us. Stop by to talk to one of our friendly associates to discuss what else Platte Valley Bank has to offer. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well-being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scottsbluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. Stop into one of our locations today in Scottsbluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. Treatment you need and care you deserve. This is KNEB.TV Weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to be dealing with cloudy skies, at least mostly cloudy, as we start the evening off. Clearing out overnight, temps fall down into the upper 50s and near 60 degrees as we start our day tomorrow. A couple of storms around early. Really hot conditions continue with very little rain, but I do see some changes coming for next week that will be noticeable, certainly after where we've been the last few days. 95 yesterday for a high, just missed a record there. Nothing in the rain gauge, just a trace is all for the month. Uh, that is well below normal and uh, closing in now on five inches below normal for the year. Had 31 hundredths of an inch of moisture yesterday in Kimball from some of those showers and storms. 80s in the eastern part of the state, 80s off to the west of us, 90s here in the middle for most of us. Low to mid 90s, 96 in Scotts Bluff, the warmest reading right now, 91 in Sydney. Winds are under 10 miles an hour. A couple areas there, some stronger gusts. 
uh, with a couple of storms trying to form. Marginal risk of severe storms in the southeast and then right here in our area we're going to be dealing with uh, a marginal risk of severe weather tonight. Uh, nothing going on tomorrow that pushes off to the north and east and away from us in a similar situation uh, off to the east of us for Saturday. Tomorrow and Saturday, a couple of days, it's going to get drier and unfortunately hotter. A couple of isolated storms around early by 8, 9 o'clock. They're done. They clear the area, clear skies, lows into the upper 50s and low 60s for most of us tonight. Uh, and uh, not a bad night out there again. Very similar weather pattern. And then uh, tomorrow we're just going to be a touch warmer and drier. Sunshine around all day. Not even going to see much in the way of afternoon clouds build up. Certainly nothing in the way of thunderstorm activity tomorrow is uh, we're going to turn dry here across the region. High temperatures are going to go well into the 90s. Can't rule out a near 100 degree reading for tomorrow. And it's going to get even warmer as we get into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. Dry for the most part, a couple areas trying to eke out a little bit of moisture. An isolated storm early. That's it. Clearing overnight, 61 for a low for tomorrow. Generally sunny skies, hot. 99 out there, a toasty one tomorrow, and we're going to be very near that temperature. 99 again on Saturday, 100 to 102 there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Still in the upper 90s by Wednesday, but look at Thursday of next week. We cool off into the mid and upper 80s. That'll feel downright comfortable after uh, breaking this long stretch here of hot temperatures. It looks like it's going to continue for another five to six days before we finally get some relief from the heat. At 21st Century Equipment, we're proud to introduce the new Build Your Own Tool. Build the John Deere you've been wanting and see how affordable it really is. Visit 21stCenturyEquipment.net to build your own compact utility tractor, mower, or gator. It's easy to add implements, attachments, and view financing options. Build the exact tractor for your needs at a price you can afford, all from the comfort and safety of home with a new Build Your Own Tool at 21stCenturyEquipment.net. Some people think Allstate only protects your car. Here's the truth. Allstate can also protect your home or apartment, as well as your boat, motorcycle, RV, and snowmobile, and even your retirement and your life. Not many insurance companies can say that, but Allstate can. Bundle and save with Allstate. In gearing, call Allstate agent Michael Inglehop for a quote today at 308-436-2123. I wear a mask. 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 Be a team player. Mask up, Bearcats. Mask up, Bearcats. Mask up, Bearcats. Hey, hey I hope everybody's having a good summer. Uh, we'll see you soon, and uh, mask up, Bearcats. At TC and More in Scotts Bluff, we believe it's the little things that make your house a home. Start with home decor. Brighten up any room in your house with flags, wall decorations, and custom art pieces. Next, brighten up your wardrobe with clothing and accessories like jewelry and purses from the Myra Collection. And remember, seniors and military members receive an additional 10% discount. Visit our website, tcandmore.com, and like us on Facebook, TC and More, 1621 Broadway, beautiful downtown Scotts Bluff. Welcome back. Western Nebraska Community College was notified on Tuesday afternoon from Panhandle Public Health District that two individuals on the Scottsdale campus tested positive for COVID-19. The individuals are safe and being quarantined. PPHD determined that no exposure occurred on the Scottsdale campus and WNCC will continue to cooperate with PPHD and monitor the COVID-19 situation closely. Facial coverings are required while on all three WNCC campuses and the college encourages all to wash their hands regularly and practice social distancing. At this time, WNCC asks all students, faculty, staff and community members to self monitor for COVID-19 related symptoms and stay off campus if they are feeling ill. And Unified Command announcing eight new positive COVID-19 cases, but nine recoveries during their Wednesday afternoon briefing. The new cases include two each in Scotch Bluff, Dawes, and Box Butte counties, and one each in both Cheyenne and Garden counties. The recoveries were in Dawes, Box Butte, and Morrill counties. Through Wednesday evening, the Panhandle has seen 525 positive cases, 
448 recoveries, 6 deaths, leaving 71 active cases. Those include 39 in Scottsdale County, 24 in Dawes County, 3 in Box Butte, 2 in Morrill, and 1 each in Garden, Duell, and Cheyenne Counties. And Nebraska will send early ballot applications to all registered voters whose counties have not already done so. Secretary of State Bob Evnen says the first ballots will be mailed on September 28th. State officials took similar steps for Nebraska's May primary, which led to record absentee turnout in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Evnen says Nebraska will also offer in-person voting on Election Day, as it did during the primary. He says requesting an early ballot is a good option for voters who are concerned about going to the polls in November. Douglas and Sarpy counties in the Omaha area have already sent early ballot request forms ahead of the elections. Well, coming up after the break, Chris Cottrell in with the latest from the sports desk. I love that right after the break here on KNEB.TV News. Exceptional care right here at home. That's the mission of Morrill County Community Hospital. Morrill County Community Hospital is a 20-bed critical access hospital that owns and operates clinics throughout Bridgeport, including specialty outreach clinics and Morrill County Home Health Clinic, as well as Chimney Rock Medical Center, located in Bayard. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time at Morrill County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. Certain things go together, like baseball and hot dogs, or peanut butter and jelly. Then there are things that certainly don't, like electricity and water. To help protect yourself when the two might meet, like basements, garages, kitchens, bathrooms, or even the outdoors, make sure to have protection through ground fault circuit interrupters, GFCIs. If you don't have GFCIs installed, contact a qualified electrician to install them for you. Always use caution when you're near electricity and water. Brought to you by Chimney Rock Public Power District, your Touchstone Energy Partner, the power of human connections. Home buying is filled with decisions. Neighborhood, floor plan, fenced yard. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Home buying is filled with decisions. Square feet, fixer upper, room to grow. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Well, today marks the start of the high school sports season. On Monday, we featured the Gearing softball team with head coach Tim Gonzalez. Gearing in action today. They've got a triangular on the road in North Platte. Late afternoon and evening start times there against Adams Central and North Platte High School. Then they'll be at the Aurora Invitational coming up tomorrow. Gearing had that 20-plus win season last year. They return one of the top pitchers across the state of Nebraska in Maddie Weiss. Today's feature keeps us on the diamond. We'll step over to the Scotts Bluff Softball Complex over at the high school, catch up with first-year head coach Dan Fox. You know, I was interested a long time ago, and it was just the time timing wasn't right. And so um, when it came open, I, um, I always said if I was going to coach again, I would like to try the high school level and, and, and start a program um, just like I did with the Twisters back in the day. So um, it was just the right opportunity at the right moment. So. Fox replacing Michael Gentry, who stepped down as head coach over the summer months. Last year, the Lady Cats finished up at 10 and 25, but the new man in charge has been impressed with camp so far this year. I love what's, what I'm seeing right now. I've seen a lot of um, a lot of good uh, effort from the girls. Um, they're they're a sponge right now. Every single girl, I, I can't really um, specifically talk about one girl because they've all like stepped up. Um, you know, they, they're giving me 110% and um, that's exciting for a coach when you see that, that is how much hungry they are. Um, they want to do better than they have in the past and, and they've talked about that. At his disposal, Coach Fox has the Female Athlete of the Year from two years ago. That's Brady Lockamer and last year's Female Athlete of the Year over at SHS in Mariah Avila. Both are just juniors. Yeah, I, I'm excited for that. But there's also some other girls that I'm excited to see too. Uh, um, those girls give you just, they, they, uh, they kind of just give you some experience. But I also, there's some other girls I think that are going to do a great job and, and some girls that you won't expect. Um, 
So I'm, I'm just excited about what we have going on here right now. Scott's Bluff is going to open their campaign with a matchup at Lexington tomorrow. They'll stay overnight and play at the Lexington Tournament on Saturday. High school football officially returns tomorrow night. Yep, there are a few week zero games across the state in town here for the Twin Cities. Both Scott's Bluff and Gearing will be holding dress rehearsal scrimmages. Gearing's will start on their game field at 6 o'clock and then Scott's Bluff will scrimmage at Bearcat Stadium tomorrow night starting at 7. Gearing, they'll be home for Torrington next Friday while Scott's Bluff will head to Class A Columbus to open up their season. And the Western Nebraska Pioneers, the season is done. A makeshift team from Midland University filled out the roster for the final three games, all three losses at Hastings the last few nights. The Pios finish up with a well below 500 mark, and they'll sit back and see who claims that league championship this year with Fremont taking on Badlands in that title series. That'll do it for today. The latest from right here at the FNBO TV Sports Desk. I'm Chris Kittrell. We'll get right back with Ryan when we come back after this on KNEB.TV. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can focus on what matters most. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can earn more, save more, and do more. Take your career to the next level with Chadron State College's online Master of Science in Organizational Management program, taught by experienced professors who care about your success. CSC offers three flexible options with its Master of Science degree, Human Services, Natural Resources, and Sports Management. With CSC's history as an education leader in the classroom and online, you'll have a solid foundation as you take your career to the next level. Chadron State College, real people, real results. Learn more today at csc.edu. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar.
That's a look at today's community calendar, brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. Why are Bearcats masking up this year? At Platte Valley Bank, we believe it shouldn't cost you money to access your money. That's why we offer free ATMs anytime, anywhere. Whether you are across town or traveling abroad, there won't be an added expense to access the funds in your Platte Valley Bank account. Free ATMs are just one of the great benefits of banking with us. Stop by to talk to one of our friendly associates to discuss what else Platte Valley Bank has to offer. And finally tonight, a three-person crew and wildland firefighting engine from the Garing Fire Department is in Colorado for the next two weeks, helping battle the 28,000-acre Grizzly Creek Fire burning in the mountains just east of Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Fire Chief Nathan Flowers tells KNB News that the firefighters left home this past Saturday and since arrival have been assigned night shift duties. They have been working in um, several different divisions throughout the whole night. Uh, monitoring the fire's edge and uh, assisting with uh, firing operations when they're able to do so safely. Flowers says the virus pandemic has caused a 180 degree shift in the way wildland fire crews operate when they're not conducting handwork and other firefighting activities. He says check-in at arrival is online only and each engine company operates as a module of one when not on the fire line, meaning no large camps for dining and sleeping, and daily briefings are only by radio. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you here next time.